Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at doing some recording with SDR Uno and the RSP-1A from SDR Play. So you can see here, up on the screen, I've got SDR Uno up and running, and I'm tuned to 10 megahertz to listen to WWV, just for the purposes of demonstration, I knew that that would be a reliable signal. So, in order to record, what I'm going to first do is open the record panel here, and you can see this other window pops up. I'm going to put it here over top of my memory panel for the moment, since we're not using the memory panel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the radio by pushing play, so that we have some signal going there. And then what I'm going to do is hit record on the record panel, and you can see over here it just shows that it's recording and gives the file size. Now as we're recording, we're not only recording just WWV or the area that we're tuned into, we're actually recording the whole spectrum that we can currently see right now based on our settings here, the spectrum range and decimation. So if you want to record a higher portion of the bandwidth at any time, you can change these settings to make it wider. And if you want to make it smaller, you can do that too by going to a smaller range or a higher decimation. Okay, anyway, so we've got a little snippet there. That should be enough for demonstration purposes. So let's stop the recording. Pushing stop automatically closes and writes the file. Now under Windows 10, that file is located in your documents folder. And you can see here it's stored with a date and timestamp. Now you can also see it's a WAV file, but you're really not going to be able to open and play this in a regular music player, so to speak. You're going to need to play that file back in SDR Uno because it's recording much more than just audio. It's recording pretty much everything that you see on the screen and that the radio is currently listening to while it's in record mode. So in order to access that file and listen to it at a later time, what I'm going to do is first stop the radio so it's no longer receiving. Then I'm going to go up here to the Options window, and I'm going to select Input as a WAV file. And what I'm going to do is choose the file that we just recorded. And now that file is the source, and that is what the radio is tuned to, so to speak. So we're going to bring the Record panel back, so you can see here in the record panel, we now have file information for the file that we just opened up, and that is now our source. So if we want to listen to it, we just push the play button, and you can hear basically what we heard while we were recording it. But we can now tune around just like we could if the radio were live on an antenna and listen to anything that was in the spectrum while it was being recorded. Now we can't tune below the spectrum, so you can see we can only go down as low as 9.5 or as high as 10 point, probably 5 in our case. Oh, we can see you just crashed it or something. Well, since we crashed SDR Uno, let's get back where we were and reload that WAV file. And this time we'll stay off of the top edge of it. It seemed like that caused some sort of an overflow error. Let's get the record panel back up. So I guess we'll stay off of the top edge of the spectrum here, but other than that, you can see that we can tune around and control the radio just like we could if it were live on an antenna. So this is pretty useful if you're interested in looking at a particular section of the band, but you're not around to observe it. You can set the radio up to record it and come back and fool with it later and do what you need to do. Let me go back to the record panel and just talk about the functions in here. I think I kind of glossed over them a little bit. We of course have the play button, which starts the playback. We have a pause button, where we can pause the playback. We have this button, which I believe swaps the I and Q channel on playback, so you can toggle that on or off if you want to do that. There is the stop button, which will stop the playback, and then when you push play again it starts from the beginning. There is a rewind button, which sends you back to the beginning as well. And then, of course, we have the record button, which is currently inactive because we have a file loaded. 
and we're not using the radio live, so to speak. So this will this will become active when the radio is on an antenna. Over here, like I did mention before, we have information about the file that we have loaded and we have sort of the position of the file that we're currently at. And you can drag this slider around wherever you want. So if you want to bring it there and play back from there, you can do that. And then this button over here will allow us to load another file directly into the memory panel if we want to do that instead of going up here and changing the input again. So now to get back to normal radio mode, we just have to go back up and select our input as the SDR Play RSP. Okay, now we can turn the radio back on and listen live to that just like we normally would. And we can tune around wherever we want. So I think that's pretty much it for a quick demo on recording and playback with SDR Uno running my RSP-1A, but this should be pretty much standard for any of the RSPs that are produced from SDR Play. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching!